Hey YouTube, welcome to a new video here on Zoro Dutch. And in today's video, it's a quick and short video actually, where I teach you guys how I greeted this. So this is the before, from this to that in Lightroom. Yeah, this is Lightroom, not Capture One, right? So all I did, all I did is actually here. I've already done the grading. I won't start from scratch. I'll just show you the settings in Lightroom. What actually I did in Lightroom. This is basically what I did in the basic section or basic tab, whatever it is you call it. Come down to my tone curve. Created this light S curve with a bit of fading in the shadows. So if I should take out the fading, this is how it looks like. Adding the fading, this is how it also looks like. Let me undo that. Let's change the RGB channels and see if there was anything done in any of the channels. Okay, so in the blue, this is what we get. In the hue and saturation layer, let me just turn it to all oh, so that you see what happened. I managed to play around the hue. In this image do you realize the skin changed from that to that as a result of this hue change in the oranges right and the yellow the green aqua blue purple magenta these had no effect because there was I think there was no magenta in the picture neither purple in the picture and the saturation so with the saturation what I do is I take almost the saturation out of each and every color, so more like selective coloring. Then I push in the vibrance in the basic tab. So this is without the vibrance, gives you this faded antique vintage look, or give it color, and this is what you get. So I can choose to leave it this way. Or give it a colorful look whatever look you're looking for depends on you luminance luminance light all the same so whatever it is you're looking for these are the settings um, what else let's go to split toning I did nothing here in split toning but if you want to add colors to specific parts of the image, let's say the highlights and the shadows. You know what you can do around here. Look at the image, look at the colors you want to add. What colors you think will be good for this? What colors you think will be good for this? Then you do just that. Then maybe let's just add some magenta into the shadows, and this is how it looks like. let's see that looks cool yeah details i really don't like sharpening my images in my raw processing softwares because i would want to add the details myself if i'm to go to photoshop lens correction let me change this from canon to sigma Actually, I shot this with the Sigma 35mm at ISO 100 f2.5 at shutter speed of 1 over 1000 to 50. So that I can get the clouds and all that. The clouds actually came out to play the day I shot this in. I really loved it. Well, you could have seen what I saw on the camera. The effects. Yeah, adding some. So this is before the effect and this is after the effect. See what they did there. I can even make it more dramatic, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking at this. Add some greens in there because it's just greeting. I won't take this to Photoshop, I just add some greens for it to look more towards the vintage look, not too much though. And I'm okay with this calibration. I did nothing here in the calibration but if I wanted to this is what I'll do I move this here and I move that there 
you see the changes already and i reduce the saturation in the reds so we are gearing towards uh, brown and teal this is how they work around their brown and teal and boom so before and after you can choose to play around that too but that's not what we are looking at today so basically this is what i did here in lightroom to get this image on my left to look like the image on my right let me turn off the split tone in yes to get back that warmth that greenish you can feel so basically everything i did here is to move this image from that to that did the same thing for this and this and that so if you're new here on my youtube channel please subscribe if you are here and you haven't turned on that bell notification icon turn it on so that you get notified whenever i drop a new video here on my youtube channel until the next video i'll see you guys